Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm bringing you into my dining room and we are going to decorate and craft for Easter and spring. So I have this wonderful little shelf we're going to fluff up and doll up and make fabulous for Easter and spring. I want to work on my chandelier as well as set a really beautiful tablescape. So maybe even a little bit of baking and tidying. I can't promise anything. We'll see how far we can get, but let's go ahead and grab some coffee and your favorite decor, some ribbons, and plug in your glue gun and let's get to crafting and decorating. <laughs> I was going to use it in my living room, but it sheds really bad, so I'm hoping to contain it and pop it in up here. It's going to give this space some height, and I have another little fun piece that I want to grab to put up here as well. So I found this grapevine decor piece. It was $3 at the thrift store, and they actually had it half off. I grabbed it because I knew I could use it for some kind of decorating idea. So I'm going to try and see if I can pop it up here just to give need something to kind of attach some florals and whatnot to. Now it may be tilting that basket way too far forward and taking up way too much space. I think I'm going to have to do something different. That's not going to work for this spot here. What do you guys think about that? Let's see. That looks kind of crazy, but we're gonna work with it for now. I also have this lamb's ear that I grabbed. I believe this was from Michael's, and I'm just going to kind of loop that in. I feel like lamb's ear is really nice for kind of like that spring Easter vibe. I've got my little hippity hoppity bunny, and I think she would sit really cute up in the basket possibly. So unfortunately, Mrs. Hippity Hoppity Bunny dislocated one of her legs trying to hop into that basket. So she hopped back out of the basket and onto the little white shelf where she was able to nestle down into some greenery. I have another moss basket that was like a DIY sometime back and it was a Dollar Tree DIY. It sheds everywhere, but you guys can see this is just a little plastic heart basket left over from Dollar Tree. I kind of want to tilt it out of this way and pop it in and just to give it kind of that really pretty like little spring vibe. So for this display, I just continued to add in some little bunnies. Now the shelf is rather narrow and so I have to kind of be creative on how I get them to stay. And then I just added in some pretty florals and some other Dollar Tree DIYs with that little checkered carrot. I'm gonna link the rest of those Dollar Tree DIYs that I shared with you guys in my I Love Spring series. And here's that little checkered bunny from Dollar Tree that we painted in my last video. And so this little dining room shelf has now has a blooming spring floral and it kind of works into my living room because we have an open floor plan so you can see directly from the living room into the dining room. And it's why I always try to make everything kind of cohesive and also just really blooming and beautiful. Now it's time to share with you all a DIY on how to decorate a chandelier in a springtime fashion. I'm starting out with this beautiful lamb's ear garland and I picked this up at Michael's I believe and all of their spring florals are about 40% off right now so you can get a pretty good deal and I really love the looks of this lamb's ear. It's just so soft and beautiful and I secured it at the top of my little chandelier and then I kind of let it cascade down making sure to avoid any areas that might get tripped up in the actual chandelier part and then i just felt like that that was going to be so beautiful and blooming i just wanted it to really feel festive and springtime kind of gardeny goodness in here and then the next thing I did was after I had the garland attached is I just took some flowers 
and wrapped flowers around the edges of the garland. So you can just take and bend your little Dollar Tree flowers around the edges of your garland. And you can get really creative with this. And when I start doing a project like this, I don't go out and buy a lot of new florals. I really dig into the bottom of my craft um, stash bucket and just try to find the remaining flowers that I used from my shelf and from my mantle decor and that way everything is cohesive but I'm also really getting 100% use out of all of the florals that I bought this season. And here is how my blooming chandelier floral is looking so far. For the next DIY in this video, I wanna share with you all how to create a super easy floral arrangement. So this is almost like a hack. So I had gone to Hobby Lobby and found these beautiful blooming peonies for 50% off. And I bought two sets of the peonies and then two sets of the multicolored um, florals. And these are already on their stem. So if you don't have time to cut stems off and arrange them, you can just buy several bundles, kind of fan them out as you guys can see that I'm doing with my fingers. I'm kind of fanning them out and then you just kind of twist them in to the next bundle. And these are actually flowers that I had left over from Valentine's Day. So when I bought these flowers, I really made sure to buy them to where um, I bought the right colors that they could transfer from Valentine's Day into spring. And I feel like with the vibrant um, mix here, I could even use these into summer. And the other little tip I have for you is I have this beautiful Mackenzie Child's little pitcher. And I will tell you that they do a barn sale and a clearance sale. And their items are rather pricey, but you can pick these up on a clearance sale and get a lot better deal. So that was a little splurge that I made last year for all the hard work that I do um, because I really wanted these, one of these pitchers to have something to make a really beautiful floral with. So every once in a while, it's okay to treat yourself here and there, especially if you work really hard to shop a clearance sale or get the items when they're 50% off, which is what I always do when I'm looking for something that's a little bit more high end. So as you guys can see, I'm just kind of finishing up this floral and I did pull one or two of the flowers down and that way it looks like they're fresh flowers and almost blooming over. So for the next DIY, I wanna share with you all how to create a beautiful springtime blooming Easter tablescape. And I'm starting out with this beautiful, it's a paper plate from the Pioneer Woman Easter series and also these napkins. And you guys can find these available at Walmart right now and check it out there's a brie and broccoli quiche recipe on the inside of this napkin so you're not only getting a beautiful napkin you're also getting this amazing recipe from the pioneer woman herself and so i just love that having dual purposes on 
items. Now these cute little bunny plates were from Hobby Lobby and again all of their Easter and spring decor is 40% off and I did go ahead and pick up the little bunny ear napkin rings to go along with it and to set my beautiful Easter spring tablescape I'm going to pop the flowers into the center. I decided to also use this cake plate which I love to do to add to the centerpieces of my tables and it was five dollars the target dollar spot i'm going to pop this in here so i can give some height and dimension to some of these candlesticks that i'll be adding this is that diy dollar tree egg topiary that we did i'll leave my i love spring series in the description box if you guys need to go catch up on any of the diys that we've done so far and here's some pretty little Hobby Lobby candlesticks that I found on 80% off. And then those little flickering flameless candles are amazing. They're battery operated, so don't panic when you see me nestle these candles into this arrangement. They're completely fine to use in and around your flowers because they're just battery operated. And they're great if you have pets or kids and you don't want to risk accidentally leaving a candle on, which sometimes it's hard for me to remember to blow my candles out so I really love these and they just make a really soft romantic glow and then now I'm just going to add in some little goodies these are those little Dollar Tree decoupage bunnies that we created again just using some pretty napkins and um, Mod Podge and Mod Podging those Dollar Tree styrofoam bunnies these little checkered eggs came from Hobby Lobby and then some of these one dollar target dollar spot carrots so I'm just kind of creating a really whimsical blooming Easter spring tablescape I wanted this to just spring scream in um, cheerfulness and just so many fun goodies now this little goodie I found at Tuesday morning I've had so many of you all ask me about this I don't have a DIY on this again because I did have find this um, at Tuesday morning it was a pretty good deal and it looks to me like something that you know Mackenzie Childs would put out but not the Mackenzie Childs prices at Tuesday morning you can really find some high-end goodies there for a pretty budget-friendly price if you hunt long enough now these little chargers I got at Hobby Lobby last year and they were on a big um, clearance sale as well I'm just gonna add them to pull in that black and white and I just think that the stripes are really fun and festive and a little bit unexpected for an Easter spring tablescape and then the next um, a fun thing that I wanted to add was these little Pioneer Woman Melamine plates. They're actually plastic and I just wanted to use them to layer underneath the little uh, bunny plate. And I realized later that I needed to probably have used the smaller bunny plate on top of this, but you guys can still get the effect or look of this. Um, and I just think that these Easter bunny plates are beautiful. I think it's a fun thing to do to buy Easter plates or seasonal plates and if you can find some nice um, paper ones then you're not storing a bunch of seasonal plates even though there's nothing wrong with having seasonal plates I just have a really bad habit of kind of hoarding and collecting too many dishes and we have a really really small kitchen with very limited storage space so I just really have to be careful on the choices that I make so I'm adding in these cute little checkered cups and then my little bunny um, plates off to the side and that way if you were gonna have bread and butter on your Easter table or some kind of little treat off to the side like a dessert treat but really more than anything they just look super adorable and so festive and these will be easy to store because they're rather small so I hope this gives you guys some fun ideas on how to create a beautiful little Easter tablescape using some of the items that we've crafted so far and then some of the items that I picked up at a pretty good bargain and then that beautiful candelabra you all see is from the thrift store. Now the next cute little DIY I thought would be fun to share with you guys is I have this um, longer napkin and I'm gonna pop it into my napkin ring, but because my plate is so beautiful, my little paper plate, <laughs> and these are paper napkins, but I didn't wanna cover up the plate, so I wanted to share with you guys a quick little hack or trick on how you can do that. You can leave the napkin all the way unfolded and then just slide it onto the edge of your plate and then just gently tuck the edges of the napkin under, leaving the beautiful bunny parts exposed, but then your guests can still access their napkin easily. 
and they look really beautiful on the table so everything is still shown I really hate to cover up any of those pretty bunnies now the next little hack or DIY I wanted to share with you guys is I bought this beautiful candelabra at the thrift store and I found these cute pink candles at Hobby Lobby and to get my candles to stay upright and not wobble around quite so much I'm just taking the candle and dripping a little bit of wax down into the bottom of it that way the candle can kind of adhere to the candelabra a little bit better now this wasn't foolproof I did have to do a couple of them twice so let me know if you guys have any other ideas for me on how to keep my candles from wobbling around but this seemed to work fairly well once I got them all to stay the other thing is be very careful when you're doing this I do have like a disposable plate underneath this candelabra that way I'm not gonna drip any wax onto my pretty tablescape or any of my goodies also if this is um, something that you need to be careful with around your kids or pets because there I do have a lit flame so just a little side note on that but then now how pretty and festive are these pretty pink candles and I will just mainly probably light them for a special event so fun so fun and fabulous and it's spring time goodness and joy Now the next little fun DIY that I included in this video is how to make a quick little bundle of some greenery and florals. I'm taking some Dollar Tree little florals here and I have about five or six little stems and I just pulled them together in a bundle with my hand and then I'm tying them off with a pipe cleaner. So just gather a little bundle of flowers. These are some Dollar Tree lilacs and again some just little white spring flowers and then I gathered them together with the little pipe cleaner and now now I'm just going to pipe cleaner them on to the base of this candelabra and this candelabra is really really tall so I felt like they would be just fine to be down here at the base of the candelabra and again I'm probably only going to light these candles like on a special occasion or when I'm sharing with you guys something in this video just to make it look really romantic but the pink candles are so pretty I really would hate to burn them so I do want to save them. The next thing I decided to do was create a pretty little bow to kind of tie in some of the festive spring colors and also to cover up my pipe cleaner down there. So I found this ribbon at Walmart. Again, I'm running so low on my Dollar Tree ribbon because I've done so many crafts for you guys already. So I just grabbed this little ribbon and I made a quick little bow and then I'm going to tie the bow on with just another kind of piece of ribbon here. And I'm trying to really kind of conserve the rest of my Easter ribbon because I still need to do a garland on the outside of my home to show you guys. I love to do a big pretty front door garland that we can take pictures um, for Easter at. And so anyway, I'm just tying this on over where the pipe cleaner is. That way you guys can't see or you know the pipe cleaner part can't be seen and then I'm going to dovetail the end of my ribbon by cutting in an upwards direction to create like a little boutique finished on the end of that now I'm going to use some of this pretty check ribbon and again I'm just going to take the ribbon loop it over on itself pinch it in the center and tie it onto the center part of that bow and then I have kind of this blooming candlestick and it will be very easy to pop in and around any space now for this video I did share with you guys the candlestick on my table but I ended up taking it and putting it up on that pretty little shelf that we decorated earlier in this video um, just to kind of get it out of the way it was a little large to go all the way on this table for regular everyday use but it did turn out really festive and the addition of the bows and the spring at greenery was so nice
for the next DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how to make a super fun, easy little Easter tree. And this would be so delicious and fun to make with your kiddos or grandkids, but we are gonna make Easter peep corn. So you wanna start out with some popcorn. And I just chose this microwave kettle corn because it was not super heavily buttered. You wanna try to get some that's like, doesn't have a whole bunch of butter on it. The next thing I wanna do is take a tablespoon of butter and melt it into a saucepan. And if you're having kiddos um, help you with this, you know, ha help them with this part. The next thing I did was take my popcorn and separate it out into two different bowls because I want to do two different colors of peep corn. And so it was roughly about three cups per bowl. And you could measure it if you wanted to, but I didn't really feel like that was necessary. I just decided to eyeball mine. Also, you can pick up Peeps at Dollar Tree or you can pick up the Bunny Peeps at Walmart for about $1.24 a pack. And you wanna add five to six Peeps um, per saucepan mixture. So I'm starting out with six Peeps for my pink Peeps and we're just gonna melt the little Peeps down and then pour the melted pink Peeps over the popcorn to make a delicious peep corn. And it was pretty fun and satisfying and a little bit sad to watch the peeps melt into the pan. But I, again, I think this would be so fun to make with kiddos and just help them. The other tip is, is to watch out for heating your saucepan a little bit too hot because um, you don't want your peeps to turn like brown. So now once my peeps had melted and they're all gooey gooey, you want to quickly just dump them over your peep corn. And you can use a spatula to kind of scrape the rest of the little marshmallow goodness out of here. And then you can kind of give it a bit of a stir and it is going to be fairly sticky. So just a side note on that. But I thought this was so fun and easy and you could add more or less peeps depending upon how heavily you wanted your peep corn to be coated with the marshmallow goodness you know marshmallow is pretty sweet so if you wanted it less sweet just take out a couple peeps and if you wanted it more sweet and almost to make into a popcorn ball you could add in more peep marshmallow so give it a bit of a stir and then you'll be ready to choose a fun little container I found these super adorable little Easter cupcake liners, which I thought would be the perfect thing to make and use for some peep corn if you're gonna be serving it to kiddos or grandkids or just your family in general. I know my hubs came home and had some and my daughter loved it. So I'm just gonna take it and pop it into the little cupcake liners. And so I did end up doing a set of pink and then also a set of purple. Walmart also has really cute serving cups that are like four to five to a pack that are a little bit larger. And then even I found some really beautiful ones at Dollar Tree yesterday. So just a little side note for you guys on that if you're looking for like super adorable little serving cups. Now I created some purple peep corn and I'm going to pop that into my other cups so it kind of looks like purple, pink, purple, pink. And then even if you wanted to go a step further and make this even more festive, you could pop in some um, M&M, peanut M&M or regular M&M in the Easter candy colored flavors. And you could add sprinkles. I mean, really, you guys could get so creative with how you want to do your peep corn. Now here's those cute little serving tins that I was telling you about. Actually, they're little cardboard cups. But they come in a whole pack at Walmart for 94 cents. Dollar Tree also has some really beautiful pastel little serving cups as well. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in some of my peep corn and I decided to mix in some of the purple and pink and just how festive and I just felt like this was so fun and easy and I think it's magical to watch like things melt down even though it was a little bit sad that my peeps kind of had to you know be melted down but still so fun and you can see that they kind of stick together pretty easily you could almost make a good little popcorn ball out of this as well so I hope you guys got some inspiration for how to make some DIY peep corn and of course peeps come in blue pink purple yellow so you could do peep corn for boys and peep corn for girls and this would just be such a fun little easy party snack you could package them in some plastic and here's an idea too if you wanted to add in some little Easter candy sprinkles they have these at Walmart for a dollar and some change and they just make everything look really cute and festive I love the pastel colors again 
And then here's also an idea if you wanted to use like some candy coated Easter pink or pastel M&Ms. They have them with um, the peanuts in them and then they also make pastel Easter M&Ms without peanuts. So, you know, if you wanted to jazz it up even further, <laughs> comment and let me know what your favorite little Easter fun treat is. But I just thought this would be a cute one to share and rather budget friendly. So for the next idea I have is to create peeps in a basket. So I took one of these larger Walmart containers. And again, this was, I believe, 98 cents. And I'm just going to take some Easter grass and pop some Easter grass into my little container. You guys could really use any container or Easter basket. And then these little peeps are at Walmart for $2.97. And I actually bought them for all of my kiddos for Easter, but I couldn't resist popping them out and um, using them. And my kids are in college and my daughter, the youngest one is in junior high. So they won't really see these until Easter time. So I thought it'd be just a fun little DIY to share with you guys to do some peeps in a basket. You know, when they were little, I used to always love to decorate very whimsical and fun. And I really still do. So I just thought this would be so fun and an easy way to just do a little DIY. So you could do this with your kiddos and grandkids as well. Um, you know, just popping some Easter basket grass in and then popping all your little cute, fun, colorful peeps in. And then I'm gonna get dual purpose out of them and they're gonna receive these in their Easter baskets as well. And yes, I still make Easter baskets for my college age kids. I don't know. It's just something I'll probably do. I, I may do it until they have grandkids or who knows? Um, Benji Bear will probably get an Easter basket as well as Tinky. They'll get some little pet treats. So anyway, there you guys have that. A fun little DIY, inexpensive little Easter peeps in a basket. And then they looked really cute, popped in next to my peep corn. I think that's so fun, peep corn. Who knew? DIY peep corn. <laughs> so adorable. Um, and then here's just how everything looks together. And then the little welcome peeps sign was from Dollar Tree. So here is just an overview of how the entire tablescape turned out. This is really kind of over the top and whimsical. I almost wanted it to feel like it was like an Alice in Wonderland tablescape and just really beautiful. And I wanted to give you guys so many different creative ideas. I feel like this year, I just want everything to look really happy and fun. And I also wanted to share with you all how I incorporate a lot of my Dollar Tree DIY. So you guys see me craft and create these DIYs before the season starts, kind of. We get, we get started really early crafting all these DIYs and then this is how I use them. I'll kind of store them out in like a little um, storage closet and then once it's time to fully decorate I bring them in and really use them in and around my home so there's the little checkered bunny we created the little Easter egg topiary um, the little Easter bunnies that little Dollar Tree basket all of these are all Dollar Tree and trash to treasure baskets um, and there's that little bunny that was just a little plastic bunny that is in my last video and then there's those Dollar Tree wooden carrots so a lot of you all ask me what I do with my decor I decorate with it all of the DIYs that you all see me make for the most part I completely decorate with them unless I am giving them away to a friend or a family member and then here again is another overview so I want to just thank you guys for, for being here I want to wish you guys a gorgeous happy blessed day and thank you all for being here now I want you guys to drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Easter color do you love pink greens blues purples that is going to be the secret question for this video and let's leave a heart emoji for your favorite color if you have emojis and i cannot wait for our next video until then be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another we'll talk to you soon bye bye